need someone to help you out. There's no need to whistle, and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, help is on its way. On clear outback nights, Ned, the little wombat, liked nothing better than to set up his telescope and look up at the stars and the shapes they seemed to make in the night sky. See, Teddy? There's one that looks like a saucepan. And that one's... like a wiggly worm. And that looks a bit like you, Teddy. <gasps> Just wait till I tell the others. It's going really low, Teddy. It looks like it's going to... It is going to... Oh, boy! It landed! It landed, Teddy! And I saw it! My very own shooting star! Ned's star! The next morning, Ned couldn't wait to tell Frank and Buster what he'd seen. Guess what I saw? Hello? Anybody in? Hello? Hello? Ned? Oh, hi, Mitzi. If you're looking for Frank and Buster, they're out on patrol. Won't be back till later. Oh. Was it something important you wanted them for, Ned? Important? It's the most important thing ever. A star fell out of the sky last night and landed right over there in the outback. Do you want to come and help me look for it, Mitzi? Only, do you mind if we call it Ned Star? Because I was the one that first saw it. <laughs> what? What's the matter? What's funny? <laughs> oh, Ned, I'm sorry, but that's the silliest thing I ever heard. It's not. I saw it, Mitzi. Honest, I did. Ned, stars can't just fall out of the sky. It was a shooting star. Even shooting stars, Ned. I reckon you must have dreamt it. I did not. Still, if you don't believe me, I'll just have to find it myself. <laughs> Where are you going, Ned? I'm going to town to get supplies from Sammy's store. And then I'm going to prove to you that I'm right. I'm going to find my star. Ned? Ned! Wait up! You can't just... Wait up, Ned! Ned! Ned, uh, what sort of supplies do you need for fallen star searching? Well, water and some sandwiches and some paper and, um... Oh. Morning, Mitzi. Morning, Ned. Where are you off to? <laughs> Ned's off to go shooting star hunting, aren't you, Ned? Oh, I see. Well, uh, that sounds like, uh, fun. I was looking through my telescope last night, George, and I saw a star fall out of the sky and land in the outback. <laughs> Only Mitzi doesn't believe me. Stars just don't fall out of the sky. Tell him, George, they don't, do they? Well, uh, let me think. Uh, uh, I can't say I've ever heard of that happening, young Ned. Uh, are you sure you didn't dream it? That's just what Mitzi said. But I'm sure that's what I saw. At least, I was. Ah, uh, well, your eyes can play funny tricks on you when it's late and you're tired, you know, Ned. But... You see, Ned, George agrees with me. Hello there, Ned. Mitzi, what can I do for you? Oh, hiya, Sammy. Ned wanted... Nothing. I don't want anything. Oh. Thanks anyway, Sammy. Poor Ned. He was very disappointed. He'd been so certain about his shooting star, but so many people were telling him that he'd dreamt it, he was starting to believe them. When Frank and Buster got back from patrol, they could tell that something was wrong. Hey there, Ned. Hello, Ned. How's everything? 
all right, I guess. It doesn't sound as if everything's all right. Why don't you tell us what the problem is, Ned? Here, maybe we can help. I was looking through my telescope last night and I thought I saw a shooting star fall and land in the outback and I was going to go and find it, but then everybody said I must have dreamed it all because stars don't fall out of the sky and I really, really wanted it to be true. And that's the problem. Phew, that's quite a problem. So, tell me, Ned, deep down, do you still believe in what you saw? I do. I really do. But what difference does it make? Well, Ned, they're right when they say that stars can't fall out of the sky. I know. I know. But meteorites sometimes can. Meteorites? Meteorites, Ned. They're little bits of rock that whiz around in space and every now and again one of them falls to Earth. Frank's right, Ned. Is that what I saw then? There's only one way to find out. You mean you'll help me find it? Of course. After all, we're here to help. Frank and Buster gathered some of their friends together and Ned explained about the meteorite that might have landed in the outback. Uh, it came from up there. And then they began searching. What exactly do Meteo what's it look like? Like a... Oh. oh, I'm not sure. I think it'll be a bit rough and it will have made a bit of a splash shape where it landed. Will it glow, Frank? Uh, I'm not sure, Ned. I, I wouldn't think so. That's a pity. How big will it be, Frank? I'm guessing pretty big, huh? Uh, um... Not sure about that either, Mitzi. We'll have to wait and see. Look! It'll be dark soon. We'll never find it now. Maybe I really did dream it. You seemed pretty sure to me, Ned. Don't give up. Ned, why don't I take you up in the plane for one last look? Would you, Frank? Oh, thanks. Frank and Buster had already had a good look where Ned thought he'd seen his star land. Now they flew out a little bit wider. Suddenly... <gasps> it's over there, Frank. Over there. Well, hurry up, Ned. Let's see it. Come on, Ned. Let's, Let's have a look. See. <laughs> there she is. My star. Your meteorite. Yeah, my meteorite. Wow. That's amazing. It's... it's... I know. It's tiny. You're right, Mitzi. It is small. But it's very bright and very special. A little bit like Ned here, huh? Oh, Frank. I guess you were right, Ned, and I was wrong. I should have believed you. Three cheers for Mr. Ned. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> That night, Ned put his star, <laughs> sorry, his meteorite, in a special place in his rock collection. See, Ted? Isn't it a beaut? He was so pleased that he'd found it, <laughs> with a little help from the Koala brothers, and he'd learned that sometimes, just because others don't believe you at first, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. <laughs>